In West Sussex, Adrian and Amy have one very full house. Not only are they juggling the demands of five children, <laughs> not only does Shelby leave a constant trail of destruction, Shelby is definitely an accident waiting to happen. But what often starts as a game soon becomes more serious. He has gone for the children. Like, they can be playing with him, and then the next minute he can go for him. <laughs> he has gone for the children a few times. Mm -hmm. He has shown aggression towards mm -hmm. him. Mm. Not all the time. No. Not as much as me, but he has mm. shown aggression. And you're thinking of having a sixth child? We were thinking about it, yes. After what I've just seen, it's not even safe for the kids that you have right now. No, I totally let agree. Let alone introducing another. I don't want you to go any closer. Let's get you off the sofa <laughs> yeah, and show me good more. To me. But it's not just Shelby Victoria wants to observe. There's his seven housemates as well. Yeah. I'm starting to see just how busy this house is now and how difficult it is to manage their five children and their dog. Take the bike over there, please. No, I don't want it to bite you. This environment is stressful for Shelby. He just doesn't know where to put himself. In desperate need of a calm space Whoa, and basic Shelby. training, this is a dog completely overwhelmed. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Shells. It worries me. Are they really going to be able to have time for Shelby? To make Shelby's transformation complete, there's one last thing for Victoria to tackle. Take the bike over there, please. No, no, no. Living in a high-stress environment with lots of activity, he needs a child-free zone to recover. With five children, your household is understandably very busy. In order to give Shelby a kind of bolt hole, an escape, I want to make crate time just a little bit more comfortable. Okay. I r actually really like where you've put his crate because it's a little bit removed, but it's not isolated, mm -hmm. so he can still see the family, even when he, when he wants to take himself off for some quiet time. It's your job to make this a welcoming place. That means this crate is never used as a punishment. Have you ever dragged him in here when you've been angry with him? At times, for example, when he's gone for Adrian, we'd then put him in the crate okay. to try and calm him down. Right. That doesn't happen again. The crate also requires a quick makeover, starting with a blanket for privacy. With his bed in there, this does create a dark space. And it's, it's warmth, it's enclosed, it's calming and then a chew toy when he goes in there. And now you've created a den. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh. When you've just had enough and you need yeah. him just to have a bit of quiet time, go, Shelby, <laughs> use every ounce of just that you can and put him in here with a few treats and this crate will always be his safe zone, okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.